Well, it is time for another pedal show. It is the Whitney Pedal Party down in Oxfordshire, and uh, I'm heading there now. Should be good. It's been a year and a half-ish since the uh, the last pedal show, the uh, FX Expo. Uh, this one is arranged by a gentleman called Doug Toley, and he is a, a UK ambassador for Chase Bliss. So there are uh, there are some cool people that are going to be there today, and I'm looking forward to getting to meet a whole bunch of them, and hopefully we'll get to a chance to have a little bit of a chat as well. So. Come with me. Let's uh, let's go check out the the Whitney pedal party. Make some pretty long. Um, I'll, I'll use the G again.
Tschüss. switch to go from the normal FZ2 EQ to the HM2 EQ. So yeah, uh, with the bass you get like more bass. So it's like squidgy. And then with the treble it goes from like shelf in EQ to like a peak in EQ. like semi module tremolo so you can like link the clock speed up with uh, your like modular system uh, and it's got like 16 waveforms including some fancy ones and then, so I've got the speed controlled by the joystick expression so, uh, so this one's a uh, like mono in stereo out filter that uh, Guillaume and I built a little while ago. Um, so it's like high pass and low pass out or band pass and notch pass so you can do like 2M like sort of uh, sweepy sort of things. The Angel Teeth is basically a DOD 250 with a bunch of uh, bells and whistles to make it do other stuff. But there's a recurring theme here that it's just stuff that sounds horrid, so I apologise in advance if you don't like that. It's also got the EU puts a little green ringer at the start as well so you can get a little bit of an octave on there for the doom stuff. <laughs> That's enough of that one. Uh, Flight Pit is two Octavia style fuzzes, uh, so double octave fuzz twice. It's ridiculous, but um, 
People asked for it, so I just made it. As you'd expect. Yeah. <clears throat> Moving on to Glass Palace, I basically wrote, the, um, wrote this. I uh, made this as a little. Uh, <laughs> stop laughing at me, Grindel. Uh, it's a little love letter to the middle position on any offset. <laughs> So as you control the time that it takes to regenerate and to activate the ramper as well, would you blame? Uh, if you want to just what I'm doing, leave it alone. <laughs> <laughs> now just press that one. One other thing. Control on that as well, so you can take it really dark. That's that. Um, another delay with a, an envelope controlled, sort of envelope controlled. Uh, Control and that so you can. Is that based on your playing dynamics? Yeah, uh, so the harder you play, the more it's going to react. You've got a sensitivity control as well. Uh, it does do normal things if you take it quite far down, you can get quite a nice chorusy sound out of it. <laughs> Show you that it's a clean boost, it does what it does. Um, and then we have the fuzzy delay. Uh, this was the first pedal I ever put out, it's based on the noise ensemble. Uh, I just went to town with it basically and made it do all the time. Just crazy. <laughs> Well, it's like it's arguing back against quite annoying. Really. Uh, there is a control. There is a control to take that out, but it's always going to. It's always going to mess with the pitch to some extent. Uh, there's also feedback control on that. I think feedback foot switch. Sorry, so that's just going to go for this. I activate the expression pedal and do that. Uh, we've also got a reactive filter. Uh, that's a reactive filter. It's kind of like an auto wire. There's two positions. One of them uh, reacts almost instantly. <laughs> The other one's quite slow to react. Yeah. Uh, 
uh, so you can get all kinds of fancy stuff with that. Um, filtery stuff with that, sorry. If you plug uh, an expression pedal into it, then you can turn it into a sort of pseudo Throw a big one. So you can go all the way from really smooth to kind of just... two voices. Fog there for a minute, and I was like, Is that right or not? How are you doing? 
great. Excellent. That's what I like to hear. How are you enjoying the show? You had a lot of interest and uh, positivity. Yeah, good turnout. Pretty lively throughout the day. Um, yeah, Doug's done a sick job, like sorting all this. Um, yeah, cool. Happy to be here. Indeed, I enjoyed your, very much enjoyed your uh, walkthrough earlier on that we saw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a natural born performer, obviously. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, so, what can you talk us through in person after uh, hearing the um, the audio earlier on from some of these awesome creations? Um, oh yeah, sorry. I should probably speak into a microphone. There's two prototypes on this board, um, so deforming is probably going to come out sooner. So I'm hoping it'll come out next month. I'm a human train wreck though, so. Whether that happens, I don't know, but um, my demoers are aware that they've got some coming towards them. So hopefully next month. Uh, it's essentially a delay with a sort of envelope modulation on the time. You know, when you do the twiddly time thing at the end of a set, you can do that with your foot and then you can regulate that by pumping CV in to trigger that. Uh, that's essentially what's going on here. And then Celestial Firing Squad is like a mono synth fuzz that's got a tap tempo uh, modulation control so you can have it wobble, however, with various waveforms. Um, you know, weird synth stuff with uh, octave down or two octaves down. Strange stuff. Uh, oh, go on. I was just going to say, it's super cool. Uh, the tides. I actually got to try one of these recently. Uh, is this the V3 that we're on now? V. Or is it V2? To be honest, I keep changing it because I'm not changing anything that significant. It's just adding more or less gain, just to make it sound like I want it to sound in my head. But uh, I'm going to say we're on V2 now. Uh, but if you were actually to look at the revisions, it's probably V2 point. Is this going to be like an OCD thing where there's like version 1.12345? One if people were aware of the different circuit boards, yeah, but I don't say anything because it just makes it less complicated. But yeah, this is V2. This is the current production model. Uh, Great stuff. Sorry, yeah, the, the Rusty Fox as well. You've got I've not seen that before. Which one's that? I'm just using this as an amplifier setup. This is as close. The two notes capped uh, the Cab M plus and the rusty box are like the closest I think I can get to sound like an amplifier but still having to play through headphones. Yes. Very, very cool. And um, the plague pit we've got here as well. Uh, yeah, so that's like a double. So I used to make a knobless octave fuzz called Abracadabra. And then I, I just had people asking for the knobs on the outside and for two in a box. No, I mean, they've asked for more than two, but I've done two and they can have that. So it's, it's two octave, sort of transformer based octave fuzzes. Like two Octavias, but like a bit angrier in one box. Uh, I'll go through these actually. Angel Teeth is essentially a DOD 250 with an additional gain stage on this toggle, so it'll go from an overdrive to a fuzz. Clipping options here and a green ringer on this toggle, so you can have the Octave up, do that like life pedal droney thing. Uh, Glass Palace is based on the DOD Bifet boost, so that's uh, the, I think it's the FX10. Uh, but it's just got additional gain stages in the middle that like break it up so instead of being like a crystal clear preamp all the time you can drive it to the point where it just blows apart um, and there's an, uh, an independent boost as well so it's just more juice sounds like a lot of fun going on in, in, the, in all of these to be honest but I will admit the deforming one as soon as you kicked that on earlier I was like Wow, that sounds good. That sounds absolutely epic, especially with that momentary. It's for quite a while, so I'm glad that it's got to the point where I think it's basically done. I'm just figuring out, you know, boring stuff like measurements for switches and rotary, because uh, it's got a rotary toggle, so I'm just making sure the hole's the right size, so pretty complicated stuff. <laughs> It's all important. It all adds up. All of these little details matter. Uh, yeah, and um, going back to the tides, actually, that that's colorway, that design, that color scheme I haven't seen before. Is that a? Uh, have you settled on? I know you do a lot of variations. Like, like, like yeah. So the standard colorway is like an aqua on black, but I change it just because it's like keeps life exciting. It's just me in my garage printing stuff and then building it in the spare room. So it's just fun, you know. Like I just like swapping it around, and it also means people get something special you know it's like it's a lot of money to spend on stuff and I'm aware that not everyone has money to do that so it's nice that you can have something that's like relatively special um, the, uh, the one that I acquired it was uh, an extremely reluctant sale on the, on the part of the person that was p selling it he was uh, he was trying to fund uh, something for his band to do but uh, I got the impression it was a, 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 a fundamental part of his rig so <laughs> I'm pretty sure he'll be buying another one uh, at some point from what, uh, from what you were saying but it is a fantastic pedal it really does uh, that feedback things will be in the, for the momentary you guys you know it's like I mean I only really play like a super aggressive angry boy stuff so it's like 
I realise it's not for everyone, but then it's like if I tried to make things for everyone, I'd never be able to do anything. So. Yeah, the, the, the only thing that I really wanted uh, from this that it doesn't do is more gain, basically. I was just, be, just being greedy, purely greedy. I have more gain, and I dialed it back. Um, Basically, because I did, I added the order toggle. So, um, but I've heard that off a few people, which is quite funny. See, it might be time for that V3. This could be bring it back, bring back the game. There's other things on the horizon that will <laughs> fill that void, so I wouldn't worry okay. about it. You heard it here first. Uh, thank you very much, Grian. I no think worries. that pretty much uh, covers everything, unless there are any other uh, hints about any future. Not really. I mean. <sighs> I'm uh, probably the like, least organised person you'll speak to today. I build stuff for myself, and if I feel like it's finished, I'll release it. If I don't, I won't. Uh, so I just like pedals. Mm. <laughs> I mean, that pretty much covers covers it for uh, all of us. I'm pretty sure we can all uh, 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 agree with that sentiment. Thank you very, thank you very much, Rian. Uh, much appreciated. Have a, Have a good show. Yeah, you too. Okay, welcome to the Life is Unfair audio booth, and uh, please introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about your company for those who aren't already aware. Hey, uh, I'm Grindel from Life is Unfair audio. Um, I'm from Cardiff. Um, I build mostly fuzz boxes and other weird things. Indeed, thank you very much. Um, so, for anyone that did see the uh, FX Expo video that I did uh, last year, um, we covered quite a lot of stuff that you had on your board from um, uh, Devi Eva Cymru and um, I forget, oh, Triangulo Labs as well you had on your board. Uh, is that still a feature of a company, those still companies that you feature? Uh, so the Devi Eva Cymru stuff is like kind of uh, finished now. My license for building those circuits is over. Um, I've still got a few here just because the circuits I really love and love showing off. Um, but yeah, I've got one of uh, Will's, Will from Triangular Labs uh, filter pedals here. Uh, they make like some really sick stuff. A lot of like red or chili peppers, like John Frusciante flavor, like sort of things. Yeah, uh, yeah, also it's one that I did the circuit board for basically. Yeah. That's really cool. Uh, so what can you tell us is uh, new for 2023 that you're excited about? New, wait, is it 2023 now? It is. Uh, next year, yeah, yeah, sorry. <laughs> So it yeah. doesn't feel like it. All the years are blurring into each other since COVID. Uh, I have a limited grasp on time. Um, so, like, we've got a new um, limited edition variant of the Violet Oscillation Fuzz, uh, which is like this glow-in-the-dark number here. Um, and then this one that I'm working on uh, as a collaboration with um, the band Boston Manor. And it's going to be like a modified FZ2 meets HM2 meets... Uh, metal zone so it's like a little bit of like my favorite bits of all them um, I'm just gonna so not a low gain overdrive uh, not no no not transparent um, <laughs> um, yeah and we're also working on um, a new filter like a new version of the Rorschach filter with Holy Island um, it's maybe not called the Rorschach because it's changed so much like since the thing. It's so its own thing now. Yeah, we've like dropped the fuzz, dropped the joystick, and it's going to be like an envelope controlled filter, but not an envelope filter. I, I, Very mysterious. Yeah, I mean, I don't know how to explain it is the big thing. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's not mysterious um, like on purpose. <laughs> um, yeah. Well, I, I am intrigued by, by everything that you just said, so it's, it's working, whether it's accidental or incidental. Um, so the, uh, what was the, oh, yeah, the violet, violet oscillation I saw recently on Instagram, because like, that particularly caught my eyes, like, that, that looks really cool, and uh, excited to, to uh, well, we, we heard a little bit of that earlier, didn't we, when, uh, when you were playing through, it's like, it did sound epic. Uh, and I want to talk a little bit about the expression pedals I don't think I covered that I watched watched my old video back uh, last year but we didn't even touch on the expression stuff okay, cool. so yeah, uh, yeah so the joystick controllers are basically um, it's two expression pedals in one so the left and right um, is this jack and then the up and down is this jack um, so zero is this point for both of them and if you push them up to there then that's pushing them both up to max but you can control them semi-independently because they're obviously mechanically coupled on the joystick but electrically they're completely separate so you can plug it into two pedals or synths and control them at the same time 
That is insane. That's, uh, that sounds amazing. And you've got the, the two, the dual, the dual one here. And the new one, which is the Cerebral Cortex, is basically two in a box. And I offer the option of uh, like a standard joystick, which will hold this position, or this springy joystick, which will bounce back to the center. And uh, these joysticks, I've, I've seen them on a couple of pedals, like Walrus, I think I've done like um, uh, pedals in the past with joysticks on them. Yeah, I think Walrus got a couple. I mean, the first place I saw them was the old Devi Ever Mangler um, thing, so it'd be like, I think it was like the input gain for either side of two circuits, basically. Um, and when we did this one, it was kind of... Um, going to be like a rough like uh, layout for like what a mangler would look like if Debbie ever come or he ever did one but I never got around to doing it basically so um, when we were building uh, like that I was like yeah we could make it control anything we want if you put it in its own box and do they stand up to uh, a, a, if you're trying to use your foot to control these um, yeah I've done some like tests like stomping on them with like big army boots on and they seem to hold up <laughs> Um, not yet. No, yeah. Um, I mean, if you want to use your foot, probably an expression pedal's better. But yeah, yeah. like, if you want to kick about two pedals at the same time and do something weird, it'll, it'll definitely do it. That's good to know. It's good to know. Uh, cool. I'm probably going to poach a couple of your uh, stickers as well because I've got uh, a sticker collection at home, so uh, they will they will go well. <laughs> Thanks very much, Chris. Cool. Thanks, man. Thanks. Have a good show. Yeah, we'll catch you in a bit. Take, take care. And now we are at the 4P booth with uh, probably what I would consider to be one of, if not the biggest UK pedal company that there is, 4P FX. Adrian, nice to meet you, sir. Love to meet you. How are you? Very well, thank you. Uh, very tired. It has been a, uh, a great but a uh, long day and lots of uh, cool things happening. My brain is barely struggling to comprehend it all but uh, I'm very keen to hear about the uh, the new things that you've got here for 2023 if you'd like to talk us through well, anything new yeah okay so 2023 we released ER2 which is our take on a Univibe that was the one prior to the Dane with Mark II so we released that was our last pedal release and on Thursday next week we're releasing two more pedals so uh, they're not here but they, they are getting released next Thursday. So. so very exciting, looking forward to that. Any hints or anything? <laughs> well, I, I don't know. They, they, they've been labelled initially as secret projects, one and two. Uh, but by, by the time this video comes out, it probably will be uh, been released and announced by that point anyway. So yeah, I'm sure it'll be uh, a common knowledge. You know before I do, basically. Uh, that's, that's awesome. Um, yeah, the, the ER2, I have been seeing some videos online lately. It's sound absolutely epic. Um, there's always room in life for a, for a, another Univibe pedal on the market, I think. I think so. I mean, we, we, we've, we, we looked at the original sort of circuit. We wanted to be able to shrink it down. We also wanted to reduce some of the foibles that you get with that circuit. So a lot of noise, a lot of, I don't know. Um, it can be a little bit idiosyncratic. So we, we just stripped all of that out and, and just tightened everything up and then given our own spin on what we think you can do with that circuit. So it's, it seems to be a, people seem to like it. Not, not having any technical knowledge at all about anything remotely electronic, uh, it does seem to me as an outsider that the Univibe seems to be one of those effects that is just kind of like, uh, it's hard to do right. I don't know what your perspective on that is or your insight is. We, you've got two approaches. I think a lot of people go for fully original. Yeah. Now the difficulty you have there is you've got a lot of drift. <laughs> that the, even the original ones you get good and bad and terrible versions of. Right. Um, or you can do a new version of and then the new version of people tend to get upset about because it doesn't hark back to the original so you're damned if you do and you're damned yeah, if you exactly. don't but you know we've, we've always tried to go well what's good about that how can it be improved let's bring it up to the modern uh, sort of modern age so. Fair enough. Yeah, I'm, I'm, like I say, I'm very good well I heard a little bit of, of, it, of it earlier when you were playing obviously for us uh, and it sounded epic then so uh, very keen to uh, get my hands on one of those to demo at some point on my channel because uh, I, I, I've uh, I've got James from James Home of Tone lives just down the road from me. I've uh, had a couple of your pedals from him to borrow to uh, to demo in the past. So uh, he's an amazing shop. I love what he does. 
absolute legend, such a nice guy. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm going to be uh, getting onto him, to, onto him, perhaps, uh, borrowing one of those as well. Nice. Uh, I can say I have featured a couple of these before on my channel, but again, for anyone who might not have seen those or have seen these before, just to talk us through some of the more wobblier stuff that you have over on this board. Yeah, so uh, our wobbly stuff, I guess, we, we're sort of we, we're pushing forward with trying to make the best of everything in its sort of category. So phaser, flanger, chorus. We don't necessarily start with a, a bass line, but we know what touch points we want, and we go, oh, we like those sounds, we like those sounds, how can we, again, how can we improve? How can we do our own thing? And so our flanger is what we think is like the best that we can do, and same with the chorus, absolutely, and then the phaser is just absolutely crazy. I mean, we baked in so much ridiculousness into the phaser that at some points it's almost hard to keep track of what it can do. I've definitely that's the one I borrowed the uh, the, the uh, camouflage and deep hogging and the pulse doppler I was I'm a huge flanger fan that's one of my favorite all-time uh, effects out there so I'm, I'm always picky about trying them so that was the one I was most keen to, to try out of those three when I got them as much as I liked it that pulse doppler is unreal I was like I could not stop playing that I, I forgot completely about the other two I was like that is awesome it's so weird and does so many unique things I've not heard another modulation pedal do. I think I think a lot of people have a theory that phaser should be like phase nine, one knob, because yeah, that's yeah. what you see. An orange pedal, one knob. You know, I, mm, there's more that it can be done. Well, I'm kind of in both camps. I, I like the simplicity. I love a, a, a one knob pedal of any kind can be can be great. Just for literally, when you're playing, you don't have to think about it. Just boom, it's on. Very very little set, a setting adjustment or whatever. But then when you're tinkering around trying to find a, a you know something new and really uh, special for a new sound, it's great to have a wide variety of controls to like tinker around with and experiment a little bit more. So uh, that definitely covers that for me anyway yeah. I, think. Well, I mean one of our things is to take you know they've all got blends on yeah. so you can push them out of the mix that's so a, that's another thing i really appreciate as well it's like not many modulation pedals yeah. have well, uh, it kind of makes sense to me because because you lose uh you lose the capability to access some of the craziest sounds if you don't have a blend because what happens is it becomes too seasick too weird too but that push backwards and with a fuzz overlaid or an overdrive overlaid, you can have this weird wash that goes behind the sound, and but it, it, it still your core sound is intact, so it doesn't it doesn't ruin what you're trying to achieve sound-wise. Great stuff. I appreciate your insight and uh, thoughts on on that as well. Um, but I think that pretty much covers everything I wanted to uh, to talk about. Yeah, we've got the new stuff and the, the, the modulation. That's uh, awesome. And uh, showcased on these uh, awesome Schmidt Array boards as well, looking uh, extremely smart. They're always eye-catching as well. Yeah, we've also got a bigger one at home, so just in case we need to level up. I've got one that's about half the size of this table, so that would be good. Yeah, that, that would be the one that I would need. It, it's a 10-man lift. Yeah, yeah it's huge. Thank you very much, Ed. Yeah, no Great stuff. Thanks to you too. <laughs> uh, we're here now at so, a good friend of the country. Uh, it's underrated. Several companies in the country right now. <laughs> Matt from like Mac Devices. Matt, welcome. It's good to see you. How are you doing? How are you doing, sir? Yeah, it's been great. Um, never done a bit of show before. So it's been a bit of a learning curve. Um, yeah. It's been fun though, right? Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> That's the important detail. Very good day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Drive down here, not so much. Yes. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> That's good to know. So I've uh, obviously tried demo quite a few of your uh, yeah. creations on my channel, but there are a couple I have yet to uh, mix have demoed. So could you talk us through some of the newer stuff that you have out at the moment? Right, so this guy is obviously the redo of the dilithium delay um, <laughs> had before and as far as I know you enjoyed it. <laughs> I did indeed. Uh, so the new version is exactly the same, does all the same stuff, just in a smaller enclosure. Uh, and it's fantastic as far as I'm concerned, to not to be too modest or anything. Um, and we've got the super clean, which is just uh, around 22, 22 decibel clean boost uh, with expression control, so you can really control the treadle pedal or plug one of these uh, expression pedals into it, turn it into a tremolo. Uh, then we have 
Have you tried the fuzzy bee layout? Uh, yeah, the, uh, the larger one, I think. It was, uh, yeah. I, I didn't try the smaller one. Again, exactly the same, just smaller enclosure. Um, they fit in the bigger enclosures better. I didn't realise until I started assembling them, so that's why they moved into a bigger enclosure. Um, but they were some of the first pedals that I ever made for production, so I'm allowing myself a little bit of leeway there. Cool. Uh, then we have the Quackheads. Um, I'm calling that a reactive filter. Um, it's sort of like an envelope follower, uh, but it's a bit slower, um, quite too gazy, very weird. Um, it's that's really nice with delays and distortions of any kind. Um, we did hear a little bit of that earlier on when you were uh, when I was serenading us all. Terribly um, played. <laughs> it, sounded, it sounded great. <laughs> and we've also got these expression monsters, which are my pride and joy, and I can't wait to get rid of them because they're taking over my lab at the moment. They seem to be breeding. Uh, that's the no petting zoo because they're nice. So <laughs> <laughs> um, we heard a little bit. Oh yes, and there's uh, the bigger brother yes, as well. Yes, this is this is just an icy big muff dressed up as a monster. Uh, the eyes light up. It's awesome. Um, what, what does it go? What's the white to red mode? Do? So that's standard bypass, um, standard mode, and then you've got the Etonian bypass uh, okay. uh, from the 78. Okay. Um, so yeah, it just cuts the tone, gives you quite a bit more gain, but it's quite maybe um, very radio body switches kind of and you have been teasing on your Instagram recently and you've been learning with this amazing invention of this headphone and microphone. 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 microphone that kind of came out of nowhere we're well, taking a break from getting everything ready for the show and my version of taking a break is a bit more gear <laughs> uh, so I started experimenting and then this thing happened uh, you plug a pair of headphones into it or basically anything with a transducer. So in theory you could plug a speaker into it. It should work. Like, I don't know. I don't know where these ideas come from. This is just being left on the table for too long. <laughs> That's how this entire thing has happened. Left on the table. <laughs> well, um, obviously you have had a hell of a year. Yeah. Uh, lots of um, lots of No, it sounded fantastic. I just wanted if you could uh, Let me get talk us through anything that you're particularly as I can, without uh, excited for this year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Obviously, the last launch of the uh, Darlington Flyer from uh, 
My daughter Izzy. No. Uh, the uh, is the daughter board uh, series. Um, there's going to be some more medals added to that range. Uh, it's a first uh, variation of first race, basically. Uh, and I've also got a. Uh, an octave, uh, a sort of upper octave, uh, Octavia type bus. Um, which hopefully will be landing in about two, three weeks' time. Is that not the look you're going for? Um, you're going to look fierce and the, well, as far as developing and getting it how I wanted the zone, which is a, a Mark II silicon zone machine, um, that finding the right transistors for that was the hunt. As far as actually time to build, probably the twin dual twin drive the that's how I find out about you first. We saw the reason. I was going to say, if I get a chance to demo any of these on the channel, I'll get a lot of things to demo. Do we have the fantastic mix? It's official. It's official. It's on record. Thank you very much, Marcus. I appreciate it. Thank you. Cool. Well, hopefully, see you around. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And uh, we're at the penultimate booth now with uh, good friends of uh, uh, lots of uh, pedals that featured right. So, at uh, Bleak District Electric. Hello. <laughs> uh, it's been a long afternoon. How's it been for you? It's been great. I've really enjoyed it. Uh, yeah, I don't necessarily know what to expect. You know, it's been a smaller format. And it's turned out good. Yeah, it's yeah. been loads of people there all day. I've seen that for two people I've met before. People I have. Like, so, yeah, I'm sorry about that. That's been great. Yeah. I really enjoyed the whole idea of getting able to get going around here a little bit. I mean, everyone's all sorts of great. Regular viewers of my channel will already know that I've featured these three already. Yeah. The tapescape. Uh, yeah. what, what version of this is down? V what? I think it's two. V2. 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 Yeah. V2. Excellent yeah. pedal, In phenomenal. Theory, it could be V3, okay. but I'm calling it V2. Oh, I'm not even calling it V anything, I'm just calling it Tapescape. Well, yeah, that's It's fine. as if the other one has never existed. <laughs> it's had so many... Um, Iterations. No, it's, this has had so many improvements, oh, okay. so many added features. That it's almost like the previous one. So. Didn't have... Almost. No, not, but it did to me. Yeah. Yeah. Personally, like your baby. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. This is like what it, I always knew it could be. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's realised full potential. Yeah. Every, the thing I had in my head when I initially tried to build it for a is And it is a fantastic level. I can't test. I'm still going. But, uh, I, I, it may even be popping up in a, a, a demo. 
but I've filmed recently. It's quite a fun one for us. And for static as well, because we heard a little bit of that earlier when you were playing. Yeah. Such an awesome sound. Oh, thank you very much. I know you're Stutter, a fuzz. Fan of that one, aren't you? I am a huge fan. <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, the other one, though, the Sun No. I, the Sun No here that uh, I, I haven't tried yet, but I no. did try a little bit. I played through this earlier. Sounds absolutely awesome. Can you yeah. tell us a little bit about that one? Um, it's, I guess it's my take on the, the modern T. Um, but, um, I guess it's more of, like inspired by that sound. Than, you know, I, I don't own those amps. I, 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 I have an idea in my head of what it sounds like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so a lot of volume. Yeah, you can do it that <laughs> way. You can do it that loads way. Loads and loads that's of volume. That's, um, that's like a pixie under the works table. Works really nicely. Right. Lower gain sounds <laughs> as well as like yeah. high gain. Um, yeah, that's where you are. Is there something else in front of it? And it'll, yeah. Let's see if that one's... Yeah, okay. I'll tell you on. That's it. I don't know what that's going to do. Oh, no, that's just that, actually. Yeah, just oh, was right. Was it? There's so much volume on it. Just just kind of, no, that's like the even joke. Because they were obviously the model team. You can't let your expectations low. So I put so much volume on it. Smash any system. But it worked. It does, yeah. It did work. It cut through. It cut through. Yeah, no yeah, 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 yeah. One more thing I wanted to I never mentioned this because you had this guitar at the uh, Fex Expo last year. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah cool. I never really talked about it. The, the single pickup, the, mid, the mid signal middle pickup. Yeah. Such an unusual uh, configuration. Can you talk us a little bit about why? Why? Yeah, pickup winding. Yeah, in that yeah, book, there's a picture of a no, painted that Leo Fenley applied to a single the water water and, and the picture on the painting is a, a guitar that looks a bit like a strap on the small scale, and it's got just one pickup in the middle of it. Thanks a lot, I appreciate it. Uh, and so, at the, at the end of the uh, afternoon here at the Whitney Pedal Party 2, uh, what better way, what more fitting uh, conclusion to the afternoon to introduce and talk to Doug Tolley. Tolly, sorry, my bad. Edit that one out. Doug Tolly, the brains of the outfits, the uh, mastermind behind it all. Great job putting this all together. Thank I can't you. imagine it's easy at all putting it together like this. Yeah. It's uh, exhausting. Yeah. It's quite exhausting, but it's uh, yeah, a lot of work promoting. I think it's the hardest thing. Yeah. At the venue, kind of tied up really early on. At the pedals, obviously, so everything is set up. Just getting word out is really quite tiring. But. Right. Yeah. I'm, this is. I've seen this rig before. On, uh, you've been to a few shows this this year. Haven't yes. You already. I've been about, about fifth, I think, this year. Wow. I've been to Ireland, London, uh, Bristol, and the other pedal party, which is in the truck. Yeah, so. <laughs> Basically, I just need to work harder on my end and uh, <laughs> go for some of these uh, shows myself. Yeah. It's been a year over a year since I got to, uh, to go to one. Uh, I think that the sort of perfect option was just to get people's hands on the pedals because you can watch as many demos as you like and you just don't get the sense and feel of it. So just to be able to get hands on them. Tweak it yourself and just hear it in your own ears and your own time. Well, that's an excellent segue into the next bit I was about to say. So, you are the British ambassador for uh, Just Bliss. Uh, UK events uh, coordinator. Is that the official, yeah, official, official title? Yes. Okay, well, for the time being, at least. I'm going to call you the ambassador. <laughs> <laughs> Captain. <laughs> uh, no, so can you talk us through then maybe some of the, uh, obviously, the more recent Chase uh, Bliss releases? Uh, probably the, the ones that people will be most keen to, to hear. Well, hear the reverse most C is the most recent, um, but that's part of the uh, Small Batch Bliss uh, series where they would um, have a, a pre-order at a particular time, like a month, just to make sure that everybody who orders one gets one, so there's no sort of complaints about shortage of supply. They did that, so that's based on the um, super delay by Empress, just to reverse mode seize with one particular mode, so it reverses your signal and um, changes direction of it, and it pitches up and it's below, uh, octave down, octave up, so it does a lot of, um, and you have added in some modulation as well, so it's... Uh, it does a lot. It does a lot. But it's great if you if you love reverse delay, then this is absolutely um, it's a real banger, if I say. Um, another favourite is uh, Mood Mark Two. 
um, because it's got stereo reverb, stereo delay, the stereo um, pattern or the, the image, the stereo image, the way it pans across the stereo field. It's really great. And the, um, the reverb pattern. Um, and then the, the, the stereo, sorry, the, span, the, the stereo thing as well was one of the minor criticisms yeah. of the, the Mark I one hand, wasn't it? Like, yeah. Like, oh, this, the, the mood is amazing, it's a straight pedal, but... Well, it's in mind, it's a thing, 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 it's and that moves across the stereo field in your mind. So um, they all have individual ways of enhancing the stereo field. Awesome, thank you. And um, the other, well, not quite as new, but it's been out. It's probably the last um, new one before these uh, three came out. The habit. Yeah. It, it's, it kind of uh, went quiet recently, probably dwarfed by the releases of uh, these other releases. But I don't hear many people talking about uh, the habit as much these days. But I'm just as intrigued with it now as, it, as I was when it first got released. I always, what exactly is going on with, with that one? I see the habit as play with benefits. Okay. It's like you've got. Yeah, classic crystal clear uh, digital delay. Um, then you've got a secondary delay to go with it. You can get the the um, The delay time is itself. <laughs> That's the And then you've got the three minute drive back where you can constantly walk And you can actually build up a song. Three minute second six, three minute loop effectively. And then you can apply all sorts of effects to the delay signal. Um, and just a bit of scan knob, which goes through the memory and through the field of hits, what it's recorded back at you, which you can do sort of manually or automatically as well. So that's quite random. Um, but a lot of the other things are quite sort of controllable. Right. Um, lots of parameters to be ramped as well. It's insane how much they're able to cram, oh, no. cram into these tiny boxes. Oh, yeah. Absolutely ludicrous. Oh, uh, yeah. How, how, how much uh, they can do, how each each one of these can do so many things, it's, uh, it's really impressive. Um, last but not, not least, I uh, wanted to talk a little bit about the reverb as well, that's uh, obviously a, a dominating <laughs> bookends, uh, yeah. the two ends of the board. Physically the, quite dominating as yeah, well. Yeah, the uh, uh, automaton uh, pedals, but the reverb one is probably, uh, how long has that been out now, a year, year and a half, or a bit longer? Yeah. Or a bit longer than that, I've been there two or three years. Yeah, I think it's time for five, so we yeah. fun, eh? Yes, um, don't quote me on that, but yeah, it's been more than a year anyway. Yeah, so yeah, it's like obviously that's a pretty hefty in many ways, for many more ways than one uh, reverb pedal, and I'd like to try that a little bit earlier on next. Phenomenal. I think it goes from the pristine, like this preset here, yeah. in hi fi mode. Yeah. 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 Yeah.